Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Rempel, Paralympian keynote speaker and creator of the Resilience Toolbox. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you five tips about how to be more engaging on video. Let's get into it. All right, so the reason why I've created this video is because number one, as a keynote speaker, I know that I need to be engaging on video. And at the same time, through a lot of client conversations I have, they're, you know, working in a, in a sales environment, looking for ways to engage. There's many who, many sales teams, uh, sales individuals who are struggling to create engagement on video because they're not familiar with it, they're not used to it. And so what I wanted to do is share with you some tips that I practice as a keynote speaker that I know can help you in, in not just engaging in a sales presentation, let's say, but just learning how to, in your day-to-day -day activity, be more engaging on video. So I'm kind of like, even do like performing some of the uh, actions right now uh, to really help emphasize it. But what I wanna do is I'm gonna break them down into five tips for you right now. Let's get into it. Tip number one is to move before your call. What I do in particular is I know that I need to move my body, whether that is go for a walk, go do some push-ups. Uh, do some squats, go do some the stairs in my house. I've got eight steps I can do. Or the best case scenario is do a full workout because I wanna be energetic. I wanna be loose and lively so that I'm ready to go on my video call. And one of the things that that does is it increases your endorphins. It makes you become more alert. It opens up your chest, opens up your breathing so that you can be, more, you can enunciate more, you can have more energy. And all of that comes through in your call. And so before your call begins, before your video call begins, or before you record a video like this, is to move your body, move in some capacity. You have, like I've literally before keynotes gone around my camera here onto the floor, and then I've just done 10 push-ups before I get up on, on my virtual stage for my keynote, because I know it's gonna help me feel more energetic, feel happier, feel more loose, and be ready to present with energy on video. Tip number two is to make yourself laugh. Okay, now this is gonna sound silly, but it works. I've done it countless times and it always, always works. One thing I know for sure is that if we smile, so as, let me back up, as a keynote speaker, whether I'm in a virtual world or if I'm on a physical stage, is that I know that the audience is going to react and respond to how I behave. I can't wait for the audience to smile first in order for me to feel happy, for me to then smile, for it to be reciprocated. And so one of the ways that we can take charge of our communication, how we can engage others on video, is that when we decide how we want to show up first, and then others will follow suit and reciprocate based on how you behave. And so one of my tricks that I like to do before a video, just a regular call or doing something like this, uh, before, especially before a keynote presentation, is I'll make myself laugh or I'll make myself smile. And if you can make yourself laugh, a smile is going to come naturally. So then you're gonna say, well, how do I make myself smile? You could easily go watch a video, like a, a funny video on YouTube or something like that. But I swear this is what I do and this is also what works. It's on command, it's easy to do, you just have to do it. I will literally just be by myself, I'll be dead silent, and then I'll, I'll laugh even if it's not funny. And then if I'm, when I laugh, even though it's not funny, it'll make me do a real laugh, which will then leave me with a genuine smile. So here it goes like this. <laughs> like the first one sucks, but then you laugh at yourself for putting on a fake laugh and then you get a real smile and a real laugh coming out of it. The point isn't about like you're by yourself and you, you want to create engagement in yourself that's going to then come through on your video. So take some practice. It feels super uncomfortable when you begin, but if you can make yourself laugh or just smile, like <laughs> just just put a smile and just start laughing. Your, your cheekbones and everything, your eyes are gonna change. Like it'll all come from putting it into practice and it's gonna help you in create engagement and show up as you want on video. 
Tip number three is to stay upright. So if you can, stand, and if you can't, sit up straight. When you are sitting down, especially, and when you're leaning forward, is what you're doing, as I alluded to earlier, is that you're collapsing your rib cage, you're, um, you're having, you have less air in your lungs, which means you're taking shorter breaths and it's harder to become excited. And maybe you're like, well, Kevin, I don't, I am not excited. So why would I care? It's because it's even in, comes through in your body language. When you stand or when you sit up straight and you're not resting and leaning on the table is you give yourself freedom. You give yourself space. Like even if you were sitting in a, in a desk chair and you were to wheel backwards, you give yourself room to, you know, kind of like just raise your arms up, have a stretch. Like you can use your body more, but if you're staying stuck and locked at your desk, is you're less flexible, you're less natural, and you don't create the same level of engagement if you're standing if you can, and if you're sitting up straight rather than leaning over and just hunching into your keyboard or your table. Tip number four is to look down the barrel, just like this. <laughs> but seriously, look down the barrel. I got this from, talk the phrase I got from talking more, but Either way, when you are presenting, you need to look at the webcam, not at the people, not at the like everybody else or the person you're speaking to. It's like, you know, it's good to see you again, Frank. How are you doing today? Like, that's not authentic. You wanna look straight at the camera. If you're making eye, -to eye contact in person, you'd be looking at their eyes, not at their shoulder, not at the background. You should be looking at them directly in their eyes and so, what does that look like? Well, right now I'm filming on my cell phone on a tripod stand. But if you were, for example, filming on your webcam or your desktop is that you want to look directly at the dot. And that's not going to focus because it's the webcam inside of my desktop screen. But what you want to do is look down the barrel. If you had a, a shotgun as a metaphor, a, a rifle, and you have this long barrel, you wanna look exactly into the camera, right on the dot. So if you wanna get technical, look at the camera when you're speaking to your audience, but then you can look at the screen when you're listening. But if you're speaking to the audience again, look back at the camera, look down the barrel, and you can listen over here, but look this way. Look down the barrel. And tip number five is to work the camera. Now you don't have to go crazy with this, but I'll share with you a few strategies that I implement in my sessions, whether that's a keynote or a workshop to help work the camera and to help engage the audience. So number one, it's just like this, is hand gestures. They gotta be, you want them to be natural, but it's like things like this, right? That's a way to engage the audience. Or as I lean forward, it's like, let me tell you a secret. <laughs> like I, or, you're never gonna believe this. I'm looking down the barrel, I'm leaning in closer, working the camera, and I'm changing my vocal tones at the same time too. Little things like, if you're excited, <laughs> like yes, just landed that deal. The simple act of like clapping creates a different tone, a thought, because we can be so excited we don't even engage like we would in person. If we saw somebody, we wanted to throw them a high five. Yeah, way to go, we got that job done. You would give that person, you perhaps might give that person a handshake. And so create those moments on camera as well. Work in the camera through sound, through vocal tones, through leaning in and out, through leaning side to side, through hand gestures and like spinning your wheels, thinking about different ideas. Like what can you think about? What can you think about, right? What can you think about? Think of different ways to work the camera. Let your personality start to shine in different ways. And it does take some getting used to. It was for me, but just as I spoke about like laughing at yourself, it might take some time because it feels uncomfortable. This will help you succeed in a virtual world. I can promise you, this was uncomfortable for me at the beginning, raising my arms up. It felt weird, but the more I practiced this stuff, the more impactful you will be. So as a quick recap, five tips about how to be more engaging on video. Number one, move before your call. Number two, make yourself laugh in advance. 
Number three, stay upright, whether that's standing or sitting upright. Number four is to remember to look down the barrel at the eye of the camera. And number five is to actually work the camera. Now, I hope you enjoyed these tips. And if you'd like to learn more either about the Hero Mindset Keynote or the Resilience Toolbox Workshop, or even some ongoing coaching support to help you and your team support your mental resilience and well-being, is to please check out kevinrample.com to learn more and as always, continue to focus on small things that make a big difference. And by doing so, that each of us can become a hero in your own movie. Thanks so much. Take care. We'll see you again soon.